Hey, comic book community, Lumbox Love Affair here. I have a CGC unboxing, huge box. It's got about 19 or 22 books in them. There are two of these boxes that arrived yesterday, and uh, I'm gonna unbox one of these in this video and another one in the next video. So stay tuned for part two, but this is part one. I can't remember what books are in here, but what I can tell you is these books came back to me in record time. Uh, the CGC turnaround times have been around three or four months at the least. Uh, I sent these books in uh, and they were not logged in. Uh, it was about a month. Uh, so beginning of September, I sent these. Almost to the day, a, a month later, they were logged in. So October 5th, and then on October 6th, they were graded and ready for shipment unheard of, unheard of. So this whole box and the other box were sent ahead of other submission or, or after other submissions of mine that I had sent over in April, May, and June. Those books are still there. They're still waiting to be graded. But these, for some reason, hit the fast track lane. I did not pay for fast track. These are all regular modern books and they came back to me within a month. So that's, that's pretty amazing. What I have heard through some of the message boards is that CGC has been testing out uh, a new way of getting books processed and, and sent back out to people very quickly. So I think mine just hit that sweet spot of, of books that were in that quick queue because these books had not even been logged in. Sometimes it takes two months for CGC to log in their books and then you're still waiting for them to be graded. I didn't even know if these were received. I knew through the postal tracking that they were received but I didn't know when CGC was actually gonna input them into the system. So pleasantly surprised. I did not expect to be billed or to have these books back to me until the very end of the year, if not early next. Uh, so, um, you know, everything hit the credit card, but that's okay. These are investment books of mine. These are uh, spec books. These are all things that I was hoping to um, put, put in the system and maybe sell and upgrade my collection with a key. So there's a, there's a lot of, 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 a, of interesting, fun comics in this lot. I can't remember exactly what, what's here. Um, okay, so I, I can tell you, these are this is a primarily something is killing the children lot. This is all something that's killing children. Variant covers, regular issues, mostly uh, from the early single digit issues. So fair warning, this is uh, Boom Studios. Uh, something is killing the children, which is a super hot series right now. So I don't know the grades. I took a quick peek on accident because I wanted to make sure I knew what was coming back to me when I saw that something was being shipped. And I just couldn't believe that it was going to be that fast. So uh, let's see. Where can I hide the grade? Okay. Okay. So this is one of the variant covers. This is the D Demio issue 10 variant virgin cover. Um, all these books I thought were high nines. Nine eights would be great, but some of the covers are hard to guy, disguise de defects or what have you, and some of it doesn't press out. So some of these were pressed, some of these were just, I eyed it and figured that these would be good to, to have graded. So, so let's see what grade I got this one. I love this cover. Yeah, nine eight. I bought this off of eBay. So you can get nine eights off of eBay, which is super exciting. This is an awesome cover. I love these books because they have this um, the, the House of Slaughter insignia tattoo on the back. But this is just an awesome uh, virgin cover. So nine eight. All right, not peeking, not peeking. This is the one per store thank you variant of issue 11. Uh, it's hard to tell when they don't have the issue covers on the on the front, uh, issue numbers on the front, but they're on the back, uh, and I can t I can see that pretty easily without um, you know uh, unveiling the grade. And this is a book that my store charged me maybe ten dollars for at the time, and then it started jumping. It's not the my favorite cover to have a version cover of this. I think is a little bit of a waste, but let's see what the grade is. Nine eight, not bad, not bad. We're off to a good start. Um, I think I did see when I was looking at the gray, uh, looking to see what comics were coming back, I, I caught a glimpse of the grades, and I think I do have some 9.6s in here, so there might be some disappointments from the huge 9.8 grade, but to be quite honest, there's nothing to really be disappointed at except it, in the resale um, it, for, for these, and a lot of these I'll probably be uh, selling at some point, even though I do love this series. It's, it's one of my favorites these days. So, next up. So... This is issue 11, bag's a little ganked. Jenny Frizen, Virgin cover. 
I have a 9.8 in the foil variant. This is issue 11. It is a 9.8. All right. I've picked well. I think this one might have been sent to me by Boom. I might have purchased this from Boom directly. But uh, look at that Jenny Frizen cover. That is awesome. Her, her work, I, I love her work, but oftentimes the, it's the same pose. Uh, that's the only thing I don't love about her work is, is often it's the same pose, and I wish she would vary it up a little bit. But, you know, I'm not the artist. And people keep buying it like me. So, uh, you know, who am I to talk? Next up. Love this book. So this is the Unlocked Retailer Incentive Frizen cover. Uh, speaking of Jenny Frizen. This potentially is a 9.4 to 9.6. Uh, obviously hoping for the higher grade um, of 9.8, but I'm not sure if it's, it's going to get there. I bought this off of eBay. I got it for a really great price. I got it for under $200. Uh, and at the time, that was the high rate of the book. So let's see. Uh, I'm 9.4. Okay. So I'm not that far off in my grading. Uh, obviously, because of the rarity of this book, it would be great to have a 9.8. But uh, I had a feeling that this was going to be dinged a little bit from a couple of the, the dings um, on the cover. And I don't remember what they were, but it was enough that I noticed it. So that is a pretty beautiful cover. Jenny Frizen variant. Super, super hard to find comic book. Let's see. We have this Aaron cover. I think that's the character. Uh, First cover appearance. This might be his first appearance. I'd have to double check. This is issue nine, variant cover. Cover C, maybe. Incentive, one in 25, I think. Uh, I couldn't find this anywhere but eBay. Um, so let's see. I thought it was a, a really nice condition. Nine, eight. Perfect. Uh, nine, eight. Look at that. And it doesn't say it's a first appearance, but it, it might be. I could be wrong. And this is... Um, uh, Christopher Ward variant cover. Really cool, arty cover. Let's see. Love this cover. So this is issue six. This is around the time last summer, I think it was. Was this last summer? Time kind of flies. Uh, summer of 2020, where this book came out. Um, my store gave me the, the variant version cover, which might be in here. Um, but this book is when people, in my opinion, started taking notice and when the print runs started going a little bit higher. So um, really cool cover, shows the different characters from the House of Slaughter, and it's a 9-8. Yes, uh, a nice Werther cover. You got Erica Slaughter right there. Um, just really kind of a cool, it gives you an insight into the universe of this storyline. And I think technically this was only supposed to be a miniseries, like maybe up to this issue. Uh, and I think the storyline sort of ends around them. But they, boom, realized they had a hit. And so at the end of the day, they decided to keep it going. So next up, the bags on these. Some of them are ganked and, and pulled down around the comic. All right, this is the Virgin cover, black and white, or sketch of the grayscale of... Um, this issue, what is it, 11, issue 11. So Jenny Frizen, this was the incentive, I believe. Nine eight, doing pretty good, pretty good with this, this, this lot. Um, really, look at that, that, that that's a, a beautiful gray scale cover. What do they call it, Vir just a virgin cover, virgin sketch, but it's definitely much more than a sketch. Nine eight. We're rolling. So many books in here. Oh, okay. I did a video on some of these books when I got them, including this one. Um, this, I think I did a video about a year ago, uh, fall of 2020, talking about uh, how I was investing in, in these books. And if you think about it, you know, these have skyrocketed, so I invested well. Uh, this is the, the call uh, variant, uh, the call. On, this is issue number eight. Of uh, something that's killing the children. This one hit a bunch of top ten videos and things like that. I bought it, I, uh, you know, not quite knowing what the grade was going to be. The store was unspecific on eBay, uh, but that was the only place I could find it. I'm hoping for a nine six at least. It would be nice to get a nine eight, but this book is dark, and so it's hard to um, mask any indents or what have you. <laughs> oh yes. I bought this book for about $150. I think that it's worth much more than that right now. 
Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a beautiful cover, let's put it that way. Look at that. Sorry about the glare. Got the office showing on the background. Uh, but yeah, look at that. <sighs> Psyched about this grade. This book in a 9.8 is a good one to have. Okay, next up. Whipping through these. Okay, this is issue four. Nothing special about this cover. I actually hate this cover. Um, and it took me a while to even see that it's her familiar, uh, her, her stuffed animal in this, in this picture. And low print run, 9.8, 9.8, black cover too. Black cover, 9.8. It does have some spine ticks on it, but they must have ignored that because of the type of cover it is. Okay, I'll take it. I feel like they are pretty generous with that grade, but um, you know, whatever, I can't complain. <laughs> Next, next. One of my favorite uh, printings. So this is second print of issue number four. Got Erica with like glow sticks to be in a cavern with the, the, the monsters. I bought this off of eBay last summer. I think I spent somewhere between 100, uh, 70 to 100. I can't remember. Um, and now it's harder to find in that rate. 98! Yes, 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 yes. These are some of my favorite covers. And I know um, I talked about these being investment books, but uh, in the grand scheme of things, it's a book I like. So uh, I, I, I purchased it knowing that I like the art, like the covers. And I said to myself, if these go up in price, which I think they will, uh, great. That's an added bonus. This is like a no risk for me because I bought them on the, on the cheaper side. They're a little pricey, but you know, at that time I, they, were, they were cheaper than they are now. And, and I was like, well, let's just see what happens. And if I keep them, I keep them because I really like the story. I really like the art. I love this cover. I wish I bought more of this cover because this is issue five and it is uh, a lower print run and it's got that, that monster on it. I think this is one of the early monster covers. I don't think you see many on the cover. I thought this was high grade, and it was. Yes, 9.8, 9.8, look at that. That's a super cool cover, super cool cover. It's actually probably one of my favorite covers of the run, um, and I kick myself for not buying this when I saw it at another store for 50 bucks. Uh, it is now not 50 bucks. It's probably $100, $150 if I'm remembering correctly. Next up, all right. So it's the other cover. I had graded one of these earlier in an earlier CGC unboxing, uh, but this is the unlocked variant, um, not the bloody uh, black and white that the Jenny Frizen uh, exclusive that I was able to find. So let's see what I got. Nine six. Oh, so close. I think my other one was a nine eight, so I'm not feeling so bad. Cool cover. This is the unlocked uh, retailer variant. Look at those eyes. Look at that chainsaw blood, just super cool, it's a badass cover. So, uh, can't get nine eights on everything after all, unfortunately. But that's what makes them a little bit more valuable, I guess, because they're harder to, to achieve. Whoop. Another Frizzin, issue number one. This is the issue I bought when I originally bought it off the stands. And I thought, let me give it a try on this series. I didn't buy the first issue first, Cover A, I bought this one. I have since bought a lot of cover A's. So let's see, what did this one come back as? 9.8, perfect. Good one to have a 9.8. This is a three, four, five hundred dollar book right now, depending on the day. Uh, and I think it has potential once Boom starts doing, uh, I think it's Netflix shows or something like this on this. Uh, we'll see if that actually happens, but that is the speculation. That is the game right now to see if it actually happens. But if anything, Cool cover. All right, this is what, third? Fourth, fourth print of number two. Kind of a cool, different, little cartoony Erica going on. It is a 9.8. I love this. I love that I've been getting some eBay books that are high, high grade. Uh, and that's, that's really exciting to me. These, I was very specific when I, was, I picked these up. Jim Toe cover. Uh, so uh, nice, scarcer more scarce <laughs> printing that uh, 
at least my store never got these in. Uh, and they didn't get them in because they didn't sell out of the, fir of the first print. And typically if they don't sell out of the first print uh, at that time, they didn't. Uh, now they are, uh, but they, they'll get the, the variant covers or the second prints, um, I should say, uh, if they sell out the first. This is the second print of issue number one. I do like this cover. Looks a little Del Mundo, but I don't think it is. No, it's Danny. So what did I get? Nine eight, perfect. Probably lower print run than issue one. I have to the, the first print, the first print, but um, it's the first appearance of Erica Slaughter. We're trucking along, right? Another favorite printing of mine. Is this the second print of issue three? And she's got the claw marks on the bath. Brutal cover. I saw this. This is probably the first of the alternate printings I saw, and I was like, I need to pick these up because the covers are so different than the originals, the first prints. I'm so glad it's a 9.8. Wow, that's exciting to me. So awesome. Look at these. I don't think I showed some of these printings off in haul videos at the time. I think I was, uh, I don't know what I was doing. I don't think I showed some of these. So uh, excited to show them right now. All right. Okay, regular print of issue three, first print. Should be 9.8. Yeah, yeah. I picked nice ones off the shelf when these came out. Cool colors on, on it. I, I, I love that the, the title is so big. It does take up room for the art, but I think you can work around that as an artist. This is the La Fuente variant, uh, unlocked retailer variant for issue number five. I had to pick this up on eBay eh, right before it got hot. Um, probably 9.8 is what I'm thinking. Yep. Yay. This has been a really decent haul. Don't want to jinx it. Hopefully I didn't. You'll find out soon. Because you're finding out with me. Another variant unlocked retailer. This is a Walsh issue number four. Walsh is the artist. It's kind of cool. Love that. Yeah, 9-8. Awesome. Awesome black cover. Super hard to hide any uh, discrepancies, but Michael Walsh cover. Ooh, New York Comic Con, exclusive black and white or grayscale cover, Jenny Frizen. This one I got for a great deal. I think I got it for under $200. Um, again, this book is rare. It doesn't come up all that often. And I found it on eBay, stalked it, made it happen. If I get a 9.8, I'll be surprised. Uh, I, I think it was, had, had um, maybe a, a, an issue the bottom or the, or the corners <laughs> fraying slightly. So let's see. I got a 9.8! <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So they probably took into account those are printer defects uh, with, with the binding on the sides. It, it really is so minor, but I was like, they could, you know, crucify me for that or they could, you know, take it as that's what, what the book does. And there's no spine ticks or anything. It's really a beautiful copy. 9-8. 9-8. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Two more. Two more, two more. And this is the, the first print of the first issue. So I had in a previous haul, I had a 9-8. I had a 9-6. I think I had a 9-4 or 9-2. So it varied. Um, the first one I bought of this right before this book got super nuclear. I paid 50 bucks for a book and they, they shipped it so poorly and bent it. So I got it for free. They refunded me and let me keep the book. But this is a really nice copy. So I'm hoping for a 9.8, but this is notoriously hard for me to get a 9.8 in. So let's see. What? No, 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 no. There is no, there's no reason this got a nine. Why did this get a nine? This is the shocker of the video. I cannot believe this. I, I literally can't believe this. This is, there are, there's one tick, one spine tick. I got two or three in one of the other ones that uh, got a nine eight. So to get a one or two spine ticks in this and get a nine, the corners look okay. I'm shocked by this. Um, I feel I was robbed. Uh, I know I've had a good haul, but I feel like this is, this is crazy. I might actually take a deeper look at this, look at the notes and maybe resubmit it because a nine for this, I think is obscene. I'm actually really kind of ticked about that. 
whatever. Okay. All right. Whatever. Next one. Last one. Oh, it's backwards. I didn't see the grade, but it's an issue number one, but it's the Frizen variant, which ironically is not as worth, uh, um, not as pricey as the first, pr the regular cover I just showed. So what is this? This is a 9.8. I'll switch those two out <laughs> uh, if, they, if they would do that, but they wouldn't. Um, so there we go. Uh, a nice 9.8 in issue number one. I just can only get, only have one 9.8 in, in all of the first print regular cover A's uh, from a different haul. So at least I got one 9.8 in that issue. So favorites, the Frizen, which looks good next to this. I love the alternate printing. I love this cover. Pretty successful haul. Told you I loved that. The uh, ones that look really great next to each other. Too bad they're not nine eights. The two uh, Frizen Chainsaw Blood. Uh, and the Decal, this is probably just art-wise one of the best in addition to some of the Frizzins. So, so yeah, I think I might have some more Something is Killing the Children in the other CGC haul I'm, I'm going to be unveiling in a minute and posting soon. But it definitely has some Marvel books in there too, There's other spec books. So hope you've enjoyed this haul. The box is empty. Uh, I'm so excited for, for this. Even though I was shocked by that one uh, issue number one, everything else was really on par with what I expected. So hope you're, you enjoyed the journey here. Thanks for coming along on the ride. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more videos and I will see you next time. All right, bye-bye.